I'm Eve Williams and I'm a professional songwriter and I'm an online music coach and I'm here with my top tips on how to have your songs produced if you're on a budget. Now absolutely have your songs produced to the best standard that you can manage. I used to work in a and and where songs were sent to me that weren't well produced well, they're just not going to be listened to. Um, if you've got time, check out my video with pop publisher Greg Watts from DWB Music. He talks about the importance of production. Great, that's well and good, I hear you say, but how do I pay for this production? It's very expensive and I just don't have it in the kitty. Well, there are several things that you can do to keep your production costs down. The first one is really carefully select which songs that you're going to pay to have produced. You can't possibly pay for every song that you write to be produced to broadcast standard. And if you're aiming for sync, that's having your music placed in, say, TV shows, movies, ads, that kind of thing, it does have to be broadcast standard and properly mastered. So you can't do that with every song. Choose which horses you're going to back by getting advice and getting feedback from people who know the industry. Um, don't just ask your mum or your best friend, but get some advice from, from people who know their stuff. So the second thing you can do to keep costs down is to do as much as you can yourself. Producers should, of course, be paid for their work. I'm sure that you don't work for free. I don't work for free. We should all be paid the going rate for our time. So the, the way to keep the cost down is to limit the number of people you've got to pay, however. So, you know, if you play guitar or piano yourself, it's better to do that than pay a session musician unless there's something really complicated that you need somebody else to do. So think about how you can manage the arrangement where you can do as much of the work as possible yourself. The other thing that you might think of doing is if you're happy to do this is to record something yourself and have somebody else mix and master it um, to broadcast standard if, if that's something that you would be happy to do. You can see from the screen behind me, this is something that I quite often do. I wouldn't say I'm the world's best producer, but I can do a decent enough demo and then I can get other people to kick it up a notch. Something else I've done in the past to keep costs down is a sort of quid pro quo approach where people have produced tracks for me and I've done some session singing for them or some composition for them. Sometimes I've taught seminars for them. So think about what you can offer from your skill set and whether the producer might be able to use your skills and see what you can work out. Quid pro quo happens quite a lot in the music industry. The, the last suggestion I have is that you study production yourself. Now, it can seem like a bit of a dark art, but I think even if you don't intend to be a producer eventually, it's still good to understand the processes of production if you're a songwriter or a singer. So... You can actually study music production fairly cheaply online. You can get courses on the online platform Udemy for sort of 10 to 15 UK pounds that will give you, an, you know, a really decent introduction to music production. There are publications like Music Tech that provide a lot of information about producing, you know, and just being in a studio, having songs recorded is a great environment to learn. I mean, Take in as much as you can while you're there because actually there, there are a lot of producer writers at the moment and they definitely have an edge over people who don't produce. It's a pretty important skill within the music industry and, and you know, so go out there and learn if you possibly can. So if you've got any more suggestions of way to keep production costs down, feel free to post them in the comments. Um, and if you would like any feedback on your music at any point, feel free to email me at info at evewilliamsmusic.com. Thanks for watching this video and see you again soon.